<laughs> oh, the fate of the world is in one person's hands, and here, you know, Raven is just effing around in the rain, trying to battle everybody he can see. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. And yes, we are doing another side quest because, well, shoot, I kind of can. We want to. And uh, we kind of want to boost up some new Pokemon's uh, HPs, levels, and all that crud because, well, yeah, we can. So, in our last episode, we were picking fights with everybody we could see here in Route 120... Let me see, Run 28, 126, uh, Moss Deep City, all that stuff. Yes, we wanted to smoke on everything. And, uh, well, we're going to be exploring our way all the way to... Uh, what was it called? Um, We're going to be going all, our way, uh, all the way to Pacific Log Town because... Well, we kind of got stuff to do. We kind of want to visit everything before, you know, we eventually save the world. One thing we figured out, guys, is that, well, uh, the heavy rain, it cannot be changed. And what I mean is, it, it can't, like, if you tried using hail, sunny day or something like that, even rainy day or sandstorm, yeah, it's not, it's not going to work out perfectly or anything like that, yeah. So... We're going to be doing the next best thing, and we're going to be battling everybody we can. And, uh, well, let's see. He's coming out with a Relicanth. I, I'm definitely going to be I'm definitely going to be uh, attacking this Pokemon. So what I'm just trying to do, guys, is I'm, I'm trying to explore everything before we hit uh, Sutopolis City. As you guys already know, we've already made it towards the area near Sutopolis City. Once we get in there, yeah, things start getting real. If you guys remember, yeah, Kyogre is not a happy camper right now. So, let's go right ahead and continue on our battles right here. <laughs> okay, so, here we are taking on Henry. And, yes, he is coming out with a Tentacruel. Holy crud, this guy is not messing around. And, well, let's go right ahead and bring out Thunderball. Yes, Thunderball. I figured that if we use Thunderball right here, it would be a very good Pokemon for, you know... Or it's typing because it's both raining and it's stormy and all that stuff. So, I guess it, I guess it would be a lot better. So here we go, discharge, and just like that, Tentacruel defeated. Not loving life. Everybody else gaining some points. And Henry, yes, you have been defeated. You cannot keep up, homeboy. Okay, so let us continue. There is a secret base right here, plus an item. So, let's go right ahead and do that, and, uh, well, let's see if there's another person right here. Yes, there is. Yeah, we're gonna be battling everybody, guys. There's no way around it. We kind of need to. So, here we go, taking on Roger, and, yes, he is coming out with a Whalmer. And, well, here I am, coming out with a Toxic Batman. So, let's go straight for a Giga Drain, and I do remember that, you know... This guy has been equipped with a, a root, I guess, uh, something root, a wet root or something like that. That way it can, yeah, drain some more. So here we go, Giga Drain for the win. And, yes, more HP for all of us. Unfortunately, Whalmer defeated. And there we go, level 41. That's always nice. And, well... Who's next right here? Coming out with a Sharpedo. Let's go straight for the man, the myth, the legend, Tommy JDF. Now, as I'm recording this, is it's September 4th, and it's a pretty big one because, well, two things. September 3rd, didn't realize it, but September 3rd was what? Um, 22 years to the day, the unfortunate passing, the unfortunate passing of the original Yellow Ranger. Um, the messed up part about that is that nobody... Like myself, nobody really knew. There was only a few people that that, that kind of really uh, watched the news and all that stuff. And then all of that got overshadowed eight days later because, you know, 22 years ago, eight days later, we all know what happened. Now, today, November or the, September the 4th, it is uh, the good old Tommy JDF's birthday. And that is Jason, Jason David Frank. And we just want to say happy heavenly birthday to the man because, man, you you, you really inspired a whole generation, including me. You know, I, I, did, I did martial arts and everything because of that man. And, you know, it, it's very unfortunate that, you know, heroes do tend to pass away. And, uh, 
you know, may, wherever he is, may he have a very happy heavenly birthday. And, well, let's go right ahead and take on this guy. He's going to be giving us a yellow balloon. And, well, let's see. We're going to be battling him. And, yes, he does want to do single battle. So now, since we've defeated seven badges, most of these trainers are going to be at level 45. And this guy has a Matang. Holy jeebus. That is not good. Oh, wait. Never mind. Level 26. Hmm. This guy, man, this guy must not be good. Eventually, you'll hit some kind of trainer with some messed up Pokemon team. And here comes a Psychic Attack. That right there is going to hurt us. Just a little bit. It's super effective, but since we are more powerful than this Pokemon, it's just not going to be the, the, the case. So here we go. Blaze Kick for the win. And there we go. Tommy JDF kicking some butt, taking some names. And here we go with a Noibat. This is new, so let's go straight to a Thunderball. And, uh, well, let's see what the big old Pokeball has to say about this Noibat right here. Now, Noibat, as you already know, it's a flying and dragon type Pokemon. Or maybe it's just a flying type Pokemon right here. Comment down below, guys. Let me know. And, well, it's a dragon type Pokemon. We just figured that out. Yeah, this guy's not giving us any kind of a... Uh, yeah, it's not giving anything to us. And, well, let's see. He's coming out with a Charizard. So that might be the case. And as you guys can see, level 40. That might be the Mega Evolutionary Pokemon. And, yes, I was correct. So here comes a Mega Evolution. Charizard X for the first time right here. And, well, we're going to be going straight for a Charge Beam. And, well, Mega Charizard X is, I believe, a Dragon-type Pokemon, too. So, just keep an eye out for that. So, let's go, Charge Beam. And there we go. Charizard X has been defeated. I remember the... Holy crud. I remember the Mega Evolutions when he first came out. That one was... That one was pretty uh, intense. And, well, look at that. Leviathan grows to another level, and it's learning Rain Dance. Unfortunately, we won't be teaching it because, well... It kind of did a little something, and that is we taught Leviathan both dive and surf because we kind of wanted to do this whole uh, exploration thing. And, well, let's go right ahead. And uh, let's go ahead and continue our adventure right here to towards uh, Pacific Log Town. So, deep blue sea, let's go. And, well, here we are. And there's a trainer waiting for us right there. Of course... We uh, skipped this trainer just because, well, we kind of wanted to see what was going on right here. So, here we go, taking on Claudia, and she is coming out with a snow run. And Toxa Batman is going to have some issues with this Pokemon right here because it is an Ice-type Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and, and go straight to Tommy JDF. And, uh, well, let's see. What is up? What can you do? Headbutt, not that effective. Yeah, this Pokemon is not that... It's not that strong. And... Wow! We can't hit it with any fire-type attacks. Wow. Okay, so... Point taken. We got the next best thing, and that is a Sky Uppercut. And... Uh, wow, this guy's really prolonging everything. So, we're gonna be going with this right here. So, let's go with the Sky Uppercut. And just like that, Snow Runt has been defeated... And, well, look at that. We're getting some more points. And Claudia is coming out with a Masquerade. So we're going to go with the man, the myth, the legend. Yes, Thunderball right here because it can help us out in this particular weather event. Holy crud. So here comes Masquerade. And it's going to be using its Intimidate. Joke's on it because, well, we don't really need any kind of physical attack. So here we go. Charge Beam does its trick. Oh, yes. And it's increasing its special attack. That's that's always fun. And, well, she's about to come out with a Dusclops. This is going to be the first time I'm seeing this Pokemon right here. And, well, you got to love the pressure. So, let's go right ahead and use Discharge Attack right here. And that right there will defeat Dusclops. you got to love that. All righty. And, well, Ace Trainer Claudia defeated. No longer happy about anything. Okay, so let us continue on right here. 
as you guys can see, there's a bunch of dark spots where you can actually dive. We will eventually dive at some point. We've already did. We've we've already dove before. The only thing is, it was just to go to the uh, what was it called? The underground the underground uh, cavern or whatever it was called. And this is exactly where you, where you will you will be able to find Kyogre or Groudon, depending on what kind of version you're playing. So let's continue on right here. There's an uh. I think that's Alpha or Omega. I can't, re can't remember what it is. I think it's the Omega. Okay, so here we are in Route 129. And this is one section going into, well, the whole area that we're trying to go to. And, wow. Holy buckets. What the heck is this? It's a different kind of... Huh. Huh. It had a different sound. What kind of Pokemon could this be? Oh, it's a tentacle. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. This Pokemon is at level 40, which, uh, well, it's tempting, but I'm going to get away from it because I don't really need it right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on our little battle quest right here. All right. So here we are taking on a Fisherman. His name is Fisk, and he's going to be coming out with a lantern, and... Uh, well, this could be a problem mainly because this Pokemon is both water and electric type Pokemon. So, anywho, guys, uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit, okay? So, a few days ago, um, a few episodes ago, I mentioned that yes, I, I I skipped out on a few weeks, one or two weeks, mainly because you know I got a little sick and all that stuff. And yes, um, just to back that up, just to back that up, and just to you know, yes, I did catch COVID. I mean, uh, I don't care about anybody's views on it, whether it exists or anything like that. The point is, got it. Got it, lost 12 pounds, didn't really like it, felt miserable, okay? Call it a flu, call it this, call it that. It was something, and uh, yeah, it was a miserable existence. Now, I, I do believe that everybody gets their own kind, like, uh, ex kind of experience. I remember my sister, I remember my sister when it first came out, it was, um, what was it called, um... She got a, she got massive headaches and she just couldn't eat. No respiration issues. My brother, he just you know he took a crap a lot. So me, me personally, I thought he me personally, I think he got diarrhea or something like that. But for me, it was more of like headaches, hard to breathe, um, no eating, no smelling or anything like that. But everything everything seemed to go away by like the second or third day. And that's why it wasn't really like you know big big on me. So, you know everything is fine, guys. I just got to be a little bit more. Um, I just got to be a little bit more alert on my surroundings because yeah, it's been three years since it since it first started, but it's still it's still out there, and I don't know how big like how minimal or how massive it is. It's just you know it's still out there. So just from me to you guys, just be safe about what what you're doing. Always wash your hands and all that stuff, whether you believe it or not. Still have some good personal hygiene, guys. Come on. Don't be sick. Don't be pigs. And, well, look at that. We have defeated this. And, well, look at that. Frost, level 39. And Schieffer? Sheffer? She I can't even pronounce his name. Holy crud. I got a text message again. Holy crud. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're back, guys. And, uh, well, <laughs> this is what happens when... This is what happens when good things start happening. And that is, you know, you get a text message a lot. So, um, let's see. Before we do anything, I kind of don't want to cross Route 129. I kind of want to save that for the next episode right here. Let's go ahead and take a dive. There is some stuff right here that you're going to be loving. In fact, you're, you're going to be finding a, quite a few interesting spots right here. So, as you guys can see, there's grassy areas. And if you check up on the map, there is a green spot right there. And that means that, you know, there is, you know, there, there's land ahead. Now we just got to find it. In Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, they added some locations right here. Some extra locations that will actually, well, be of use to you when it comes to, like, secret bases and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. Here we are in the land, and what we're going to be finding right here is the Secret Shore, which is home to a whole bunch of secret bases right here. Like, this place, you can make a secret base wherever you want bunch of caves there's probably a tree right here somewhere and uh unfortunately right now there is literally no nobody wanting to do a secret base there might be one there is literally nobody holy crud okay so nobody 
Nobody has touched this place. Again. The world is in peril, and good old Draven here is, uh, you know, he's bum, you know, he's being a bum around here. Okay. So, yes, this is the secret shore, and it is home to a whole bunch of secret bases, and, uh, well, let's see. Where else can we go right here? Ah, we can go... You know what? We can have one more battle. One more battle, or better yet... Yeah, we can have one more battle before we even go in, uh, go into the next episode right here. So, yeah, we're kind of locked. Let's go right ahead and take a dive. Now, how cool would it be if we just take a dive and, 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 and see what kind of Pokemon you, you are going up against? That would be awesome. Now, let's see. If I go a little bit further, it's nothing. Okay, so... We're just gonna be diving ahead, and yes, you will be you will be finding some interesting Pokemon right here, guys. Uh, one Pokemon that comes to mind is Relicanth. Uh, what was it? Clam Pearl. Hell, even Chinchows are around here too. Now, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go up top right here and see what see, see what exactly we can find on the on the top portion right here. And um, well, it's just nothing but land. There is an individual right there waiting for us. So I did say we were gonna. I did say we were gonna take one more battle before we get into Pacific Log Town. So let's go right ahead and take on Triathlete. Triathlete Chase, and here I go going up with a Toxic Batman. So hopefully this will actually work since Cedra is. It, it, it is a pure water type Pokemon, and well, just like that, there goes Cedra. Holy buckets! Okay, and. Uh, well, that was quick. How unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Okay, so let's see. There might be somebody else right here. I think I seen... Oh, okay, here we go. There is that individual. Let's go ahead and battle this person. And then from there, we'll just, you know, save the next episode. Yes, I know, I know. It's getting annoying that I'm pushing, like, I'm pushing everything a little far ahead. But trust me, guys, I like... I like the way how I'm doing things with this walkthrough. Kind of want to give you just a little bit more and all that stuff. Um, it won't happen with, let's see, it won't happen with the other, with the other, the main walkthroughs, such as, like, you know, Pokemon Black and White 2, um, even Pokemon Y, yeah, that's a Pokemon game that I'm planning on doing, um, so yeah, let's see, let's see, let's go right ahead and, uh, have this Pokemon hurt by poison, and let's go with a Thunderball right here, and... Just like that. Holy buckets. This guy's going to be stockpiling right here. And, well, here we go. More poison. And let's see. Let's go right ahead and go with a charge beam right here. And, of course, it's going to be evading. It's What the hell is it doing? Oh, yeah, it's getting healed up. You know, you might be getting healed up, but it won't work because, well, yes, the stockpile effect has gone off. But you're still getting poison right here, so let's go right ahead and finish this Pokemon off with the Discharge Attack. And bam, there you go. Pelipper has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And Toxic Batman grows to level 43 and is learning Venice Shock. Now, this move right here is a special move. The user dredges, drenches the target in a special poisonous liquid. This move's power is doubled if the target is poisoned. Now. Yes, we're going to be switching it out right here. Even though I believe Talk to Batman is not much of a... It is a physical attacker. It's just its physical attack's not that great because of its nature and all that crud. So, yeah, I kind of shot myself in the foot right there somehow. So, here's Seedra yet again. Let's just finish this Pokemon off with a Discharge Attack. And there you go, Seedra. Defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Okay, so like I said, guys, we're going to save the episode right here. In the next one, we're going to be making our way through Route 130, 129, 130 to 131, Pacific Log Town, and then by Friday, yes, it is the conclusion of this whole, you know, Hurricane Kyogre thing and all that stuff. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.